morning guys. Good morning. So today we're going to take you on a hike. So you know that we're staying in Col the Corbier. So we're going to go to a hike aren't we? Yep, and behind find, the chalet. Yeah, behind where the chalet is and try and find um, yeah, the top of this hill which allegedly you can see in Mont Blanc and stuff. So we're going to attempt, let's that be the word to start with the day, attempt <laughs> to get up there. Adam, why aren't we going skiing today? Uh, because it's half term and it is rammed everywhere. <laughs> rammed. It is rammed. Like the snow forecast, we've not snowed now for at least a week. Yeah, at least a week, maybe even 10 days, which is a bit of a nightmare because it's been nothing but sunshine, which is good. We love it. But the snow's quickly melting. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're not we're not feeling going out skiing or snowboarding today. We definitely enjoy being off the piste more than we enjoy being on the piste and these conditions aren't really right for it so instead we thought we'd bring you along and try a, try a hike. On a different journey. <laughs> we don't do much walking normally so this will be nice and interesting. <laughs> We're already getting out of breath. You are. I'm not, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, let's go see what's happening. Adam, what does this say? Property privy. <laughs> private property. Yeah, it's basically private property. Summit. Summit, 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 summit. Simple <laughs> tolerance, that's easy to understand. Thank you. Respect something. There's the limit of our French, everyone. But I think it's up here. Up here. Through the words. <laughs> what was that you just said, Adam? <laughs> February. I was thinking were... July, all right. <laughs> July's not in the middle of those dates either. <laughs> I think this is a sign about the hunting. When they do the hunting, there was like a. What happened the other week? Didn't not the other week? Yeah, like there's quite a lot of like shooting and stuff around here. And like um, a mountain biker got shot or something accidentally uh, back in the inter season, back in September. I think you do have to be careful about wandering around these areas, but I think we're all right. What do you reckon, Ad? I think we'll be okay. This path's crazy. Look at these trees. Okay, so we've had to revert to using our poles because the snow is so slushy, it's like super slippy, even in our boots. So yeah, that's why we're back to filming on the GoPro now. I've had to put the Canon, uh, the vlogging camera back in the bag. Farm. Don't fly turkeys over the farm. Don't leave your rubbish for the cows to look at. Don't let the cows out of the gate. Don't let your dogs chase the cows. But the cows are out of here, are they? Because it's winter. Yeah. They're down in the. Welcome to the alpine pastures of Hol Savoy. Help us conserve the quality of the region. Take your garbage with you. Grass is precious. Please drive and park in the authorised areas. Fences are necessary and keep the dog on a lead as it might scare the flocks. Flocks like sheep? Yeah, flocks of sheep. Did you know a sheep has real long tails? Uh, I don't know if I did or not. I think I have seen some with long, long tails that haven't had them chopped. That's traumatised me. That sheep have long tails. <laughs> I've got to 26 years old of age and I didn't realise sheep had long tails. <laughs> <laughs> that sheep doesn't have any tail. Yeah, because it chopped off. <laughs> so it doesn't get maggots in its bum or whatever 
the so reason the is. The dog's going to bite its tail. <laughs> right, I would do not good. Hey guys. Hey guys. So I reckon. We're probably about at least halfway. We've got to be. Yeah, it's got to be at least halfway up now. But it's a quite nice walk. It starts off going through the woods and then. Now we're at this kind of a bit of a plateau point, so these are the views. Let's have a look. So you can see there's like some like little towns and stuff down there. And then the sun's pretty high in the sky because it's almost midday. And there's some really nice mountains and that's the old ski resort. And then I think we've got to keep going up that way. That's where we're heading. I'll be honest pretty warm it's absolute roasting like <laughs> you lost your hoodie like straight away <laughs> yeah I, I had my like thin like gym hoodie on then I like my under armour gym hoodie and that like literally came straight off first corner <laughs> off it's it is roasting like for February in the Alps it's pretty hot <laughs> yeah we've had to resort to using our lecky ski poles telescopic ones that we bought last year from Mont Blanc yeah so we bought them when we did the Valley Blanche um, we haven't really used them since but we're glad we've used them today the yep. snow super slushy like super slushy snow so it's quite slippy to walk on especially as we're walking uphill no doubt we're walking back downhill It'll as be well. even more fun <laughs> <laughs> we should have brought our snowboards up and like... to stop us <laughs> sliding down the whole way on our ass <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um, so yeah so we're gonna try and continue a lot of the footage is going to be from our new gopro hero 7 Woo! <laughs> um, because i can't use these and this at the same time but i've got my gopro on like a rucksack mount so a lot of the footage will be off that won't it Good. and then when we get to the top if we get to the top we'll get the drone out and see Ooh, some people. see what we can see right let's carry on off we go <laughs> check out these views guys How nice of a day is it, Ad? Really good. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's not too too hot either. I mean, it's hot for a ski resort, but it's not roasting, is it? No. You're walking about getting too hot, aren't you? Really? Yeah, that's the best thing. So all this over here used to be the ski resort. Um, I think it's called Drews in Le Mans. Yeah, Drews in Le so yeah, that's, but that's closed now, it's long gone, hasn't it? Yeah. Almost there, Adam, I think. We think that is where we've been trying to walk to. We're not 100% sure, so we could get there and then have another hill to climb. But the views are pretty nice from up here. I'm tired, how about you? Uh, I'm getting tired, but not too bad. Guess what though, Adam? What? We've heard our Chinese tonight. Yes, we have. For anybody who actually knows me, will know how much I'm obsessed with Chinese food. And since moving out here, obviously, in the Alps, you don't have a Chinese takeaway. So I've been on a Chinese detox, and I had. You have a bit, yeah. <laughs> but now, we're going to go to the Chinese... Or you can eat buffet <laughs> with a what? Down in Tonon. So yeah, we're gonna do that later and then they'll have to roll me out of there because I need like a month's worth of Chinese in my belly. <laughs> Alright. Right, let's do this. Let's do this. Adam, how's that walk going? Uh good. We're going a bit slower now. Um and we're at the point where we where you thought was the top. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not the top. Look, there's still a path to go. <laughs> I'd just like to put out there. They can't be much higher this way. I would just like to put out there that me and Adam are the only two people up this hill without snowshoes on. Literally, everybody else we've passed has got snowshoes on. Now, to be fair, our friend Wendy, who owns the chalet that work at, did offer us a pair. But then Adam wouldn't have had a pair. So we thought we'd just stick it out together <laughs> with no boots on. But yeah, literally we are the only person on this entire hill without them. We must have passed at least 10 people with snowshoes. Yeah, probably three more. 
But yeah, so this is where we are, loads of trees. I think we almost have to go further up yet. There's a little hut there. <laughs> a little hut there, I think that's where the cows live in the summer. And then this is the view of the valley that we've just like hiked up. You can see a little man down there. He's got snowshoes on, he's just come down from these trees without any problems. There's these people up here, they've got snowshoes on, no problems. <laughs> but guys, it's alright. Because we're well had. But the pelicans don't have snowshoes. Team Pelican! Woo! <laughs> Pelican <All right>. hikers. <laughs> <laughs> it is so hot, isn't it? It is warm. Right. Let's uh, carry on. Hey guys, we've made it, I think, to the top of where we were meant to be, or the top where we thought we was coming. So if I turn around, you can see Lake Geneva from here. If I zoom in. A few little avalanches here on this face. So like, over there, that's Lake Geneva. And in here, like Adam says, there's been some like little avalanches on this face here. So you've got one, two, three, four, four avalanches for sure. But the snowpack's so unstable at the minute because it's we had loads of snow two weeks ago. Now it's got red hot, hasn't it, Ad? Really? So the snowpack's melting quick. It's getting really unstable because of the amount of snow we've got. There's been quite a few avalanches across across the Alps. But yeah. And then we're going to follow these people up to the top. We're going to go up there. But what have they got on the feet, Adam? Snowshoes, but you don't need to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a so technicality. let's just go over the statistics. <laughs> I reckon we've seen at least 12 people on this hill, ex including us 14, yeah? yeah? Let's round that up to 15. <laughs> How many of those 15 people have snowshoes on, Adam? What, including us? Yeah. 13. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? It's not a problem, look, it's patted down enough. If I get stuck and buried, it's your fault. You're not going to get buried. Well, my legs might get deep. buried. <laughs> I was just looking at that. Look at that little cornice there. Oh, yeah. How good would that be to drop off? That'd be rad, wouldn't it? <laughs> but I'm not hiking back up here with a snowboard to do it. You know what I do think, though, Ad? Mm -hmm. Do you think we should have brought our snowboards up and then it would have been a well quick ride down? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that would have been funny. Yeah. So these people are going to go up there. We're going to try and go up there too. The only difference being <laughs> snowshoes. Right, let's do this. Guys, just to be clear, this is what I mean about not having snowshoes on. Look at that. My feet are buried. Look at Adam's leg. Look at this, everyone. The things we do for fun. Can you see that? Can you see it? I looked at my boots in bloody snow. Look at this view, guys. All right, guys, so we finally, finally, finally made it to the top. The view is absolutely amazing. Um, Nan, Adam's mum, and my mum, this is where we, where we rang you from. So when we said we're at the top of the mountain, this is where we were. Let us show you the view.
Adam, are you ready for the hike down? Always. <laughs> so I think it took us about two hours to get up here. It would take definitely taken us less if we had snowshoes, I think, because... Whoa, Adam, what the hell's that? Look at that bird. I don't know if you can see it on this camera. It's like an eagle. <laughs> Anyway, like I was saying, it took us about two hours to get up here, it took us less. I reckon if we'd have had snowshoes on, would you agree, Ed? Yeah. So now we're going to attempt the walk back down, but it should be a lot easier. Slide it if we have to. Yeah, it's getting well soft, isn't it? Track. Yeah, might as well. What's the worst that can happen? Guys, this bit's crazy. Some snow's like really fine, and some snow's like really soft. Like me and Adam have literally like both been up to our knees in snow. Whoa! Yeah. What the hell? Look at Adam, that's exactly what I mean. He's up to his crotch. Stay there, Adam. Oh, look at Adam. <laughs> look at me. Adam's crotch deep in snow, everyone. for a day out. All right guys, so. We're back. We made it back. It was awesome. So it took about half the amount of time, maybe even less. Yeah, probably a little bit less to, to get back. Yeah, to get back down. It was pretty deep, the snow, because like we keep telling you we didn't have no snowshoes. And but we yeah. took a little shortcut that might have been a bit deeper than <laughs> the packed down snow. <laughs> Look at this, this is Adam's jeans. Look at that, like soaking wet. This is my jeans, it's a bit easy to see on mine because mine are grey. So yeah, that was a, uh, that was that, so yeah. While we're here guys, if there's anything else you want to see, like different things you can do in the Alps or whatever, let us know in the comments, drop it in the comments. Because we're only here till April, so two more months to get everything in that you want to see. I know I keep promising you ski and snowboard videos, but because I've got this now, we can uh, hopefully start getting some more. Make sure you give us a like, subscribe, all the usual. Also, we don't normally do shout outs because we're not really a very big channel and all that, but uh, hello to Summer, Izzy and Darcy who came skiing with us last week. They did awesome. So hi guys. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you soon.